Hey guys, it's Fold Cards here live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today I am going to open up another box of the Between the Pipes. And this time it's from 2007-2008. It's a hobby box. I do swear by this product. Uh, 2007 and 8 would be Carey Price's rookie year. And he is sort of there on the right-hand side of the uh, cover along with a couple of other halves like Plant and uh, Patrick Waugh. Um, so this product has the goalie graphs, autographs, and I think we're guaranteed one per box and sometimes you get two. There tends to be a memorabilia card and a mask card, which are those weird sheen metallic um, rainbow cards of the close-up of masks. And this box I think you can get for under $40, which is why I like these uh, this product. And I just love how the base set, which in this case is, has 100 cards, is broken up. Uh, into uh, subsets of future stars and greats of the game and I think this time they, they have a rival league players because of um, players who played in uh, other leagues rival to the NHL for a stint I guess in the 70s or whatnot oh so uh, let's think of the WHA or L or whatever it was so let's open this this puppy up um, 24 uh, packs, uh, five, pa five cards per pack in this particular installment of this particular hobby box. Uh, hopefully it's not too dark here um, in Brooklyn as the sun sets. And, and here we go. So this is a hobby box. You can tell it's a hobby box because you can always flip the, uh, uh, the cover uh, to produce the cards like that. And you see how the cards are busy. They've got some cool colors. Uh, and this installment sort of has this gold and green sort of look to it, uh, but but it looks they look good. And uh, let's see what we what we do get. I mean, there are some so the mask we should get. Then you know sometimes there are some other inserts. You know, there's the the crease cut jerseys and 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 there's some emblems and I think they even have some cut numbers and stuff. But those are super super rare to get. Um, sometimes the odds will be displayed on the on the cards. Uh, along with whatever else they display like uh, so here it's just a lot of blah 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 apparently um, so let's open them up see what we get in New York New York and hopefully hopefully we get something of value and the the Carey Price card, because it's 2007, 2008, if we do get him, it would be considered a rookie card, I guess. Although, uh, rookie cards from, you know, very, if you have AHL cards or you have um, Team Canada cards, for that matter, the rookies aren't necessarily considered you know, authentic rookies. They're sometimes considered sort of soft rookies. Uh, usually it's the NHL cards that are considered the real, real rookies. Uh, nonetheless, so we have greats of the game. Here we have a Future Stars, which is Jimmy Howard. Uh, so that's prior to him entering the NHL. Then we have uh, this insert dummy thing, which is uh, just a promotional thing, and it's and it's basically a blank that we can use for packaging. And then we have uh, Kevin Defoss, and he played with the Quebec Ramparts. He's a Future Stars, and this is another Future Stars. And this one's of Tori Young, Young. So the Future Stars are the low end of the base set. Uh, the higher up you get, usually you get the more interesting cards, the ones of a bit, perhaps more value, not that base cards by definition have any value because you can pretty much build this set by buying one or two of these boxes. Uh, continuing on, so we did get a great set of the game and this would be Rogi Vachon, a younger looking Rogi Vachon, Vachon who of course um, in number 85 did start with the uh, Montreal Canadiens. Uh, before he w went to the Kings. Here's uh, Jonas Hiller, who also made the NHL, and we did get a crease cut jersey. So we have our first jersey, and it's Jonathan Bernier. So we were lucky enough to get someone who's known, um, and it's a Jonathan Bernier, and it's sort of a thick little card. Uh, it's it's nice. It's actually pretty nice. It's It's got a nice design to it, and it's called a crease cut. And we were guaranteed one of them. Sometimes you get two of them. So bang, we got ourselves a jersey right off the bat, right off the hop, right off the jump. Uh, so we'll just set that puppy aside for now. We got our greats of the game in Jokamine. And then we have Adam Denny, or Dennis, in the Future Stars category. 
Um, so Jonathan Bernier, who sort of has jumped around a bit, he was sort of a decently touted prospect. And of course, he had difficulty with the leagues. He's had, he's played out West as well, too. And he's had his stints. But uh, I think he's someone who sort of ha has had difficulty with his confidence throughout his career, which for goaltenders can be a big, uh, a really big negative. It's really just about being very peaceful between the pipes and uh, confident. So here's the stars of the game in Dan Cloutier. Uh, here's a greats of the game, and it's Tom Barrasso, uh, and here's a divider, and here we have a Thomas Popper lead from the Syracuse Crunch, and that would be a future stars, and we have another greats of the game in Grant Fuhrer of the Edmonton Oilers, who played on the championship Oiler teams with Great One and Messier and uh, Charlie Huddy and whoever else, Esatikin in, and and Yari Curry, and Coffee and Anderson, and you name them. You can name them all, probably. Robert Meyer, Futures of the Game. Then we have a Between the Pipe Stars of the Game, and this one is of Peter Budai. Stars of the Game, Greats of the Game. Uh, so the numbering 60 to 70 is the stars. The, uh, the Greats of the Game would be a little bit higher. And here we go, another greats of the game, and this one would be John Davidson. And then a stars of the game, of future stars of the game, of Jeff Glass, who I believe has played with, uh, you tell me, didn't he play with the, um, the Islanders? Okay, stars of the game, we have a Cam Ward. And then we have a greats of the game of Ron Hextall, the combative. Uh, Ron Hextall. You notice too, the grace of the game, the, the font is different colored cards, which is interesting enough. Grace of the game, I'm just trying to, just trying to separate these bad boys out a bit. Okay. And another uh, stars of the game, and this is J.S. Jaguar, and behind that we have a Tony Esposito, grace of the game. So the stars of the game would be people who, within the 2000, the yeah 2007 season, 2008 season, um, would have been still playing in the NHL. While well, the greats of the game are people who made their mark and whose careers are done. And here we got Patrick Waugh. We have Patrick Waugh of the Montreal Canadiens. We have John Murray, future stars. We have another one of these dividers, and then we have a Kevin Poulin, Future Stars, and an Adam uh, Crochet, Future Stars. Hopefully these things are in focus, it's a little bit difficult, it's a little bit dark in here unfortunately, um, as the sun sets over Barton Center. Here's a Bernier, Future Stars. There's a Ver, uh, Simon um, Ver, Ver, Verlamov. Ver, it's, why can't I say it? I don't know. Verlamov. There's an, Al, there's an Al Montoya. And there is a Justin Peters. Uh, I feel there's less cards in the, in the packs than perhaps in some of the other editions. Uh, you know, sometimes they really stack them with many, many cards. Uh, I think the prior season, they had a 150 base set, and they really get you going towards, with one hobby box, you get very close to collecting some two-thirds of, of the base set. Uh, here, I believe they sort of put in a few less cards. Steve Mason, and we have a future stars of Yarrow Halak, playing with the Hamilton Bulldogs, and there's Andre Pavlik. So how can I say Verlamov? Verlamov. Can't say it well. A lot of these names are super, super tricky. I should know most of them um, because I do follow goaltending, but uh, even so, they're still very, very tricky because hockey's such an international scene these days. There's Ryan Muntz. We're getting a lot of these. Oh, we have a Between the Pipes. Oh yeah. Stars of the game. Okay. And that is Ray Emery. And there's Thomas Grice. 
who certainly, absolutely uh, played with the Islanders. And you notice there that he would be a uh, Sharks prospect. A lot of future stars thus far, more so than anything else, which is the biggest base um, subset. And there we have a between the pipes of Gump Worsley uh, in his later years with the Minnesota North Stars. Not the uh, Stars, but the North Stars. Not Dallas. Let's see what we have here. Ryan Miller, stars of the game. Oh, so here's the rival league. And this is actually one of John Garrett, uh, who is now obviously an announcer. And he was a mediocre, I think, when he played. Uh, so this is a WHA card. And he played with the Minnesota. Fighting Saints uh, in the 73, through, uh, actually has stats from 73 through 79, believe it or not. So that is the sort of topmost, uh, so the, it's the last few cards of the base set, uh, up to 100, as I said. So the year prior, they'd broken it, I think they had a couple of more um, tiers to it. And there we have a Tobias Steffen. And we have a Glenn Hall, greats of the game. And that's, that's him in his St. Louis uniform uh, later on in his career. Here we are again. We have Pascal LeClaire. Uh, we have another one of the rival leagues. And this time it's Bernie Perron. And as we see here, he's with the Philadelphia Blazers. And uh, that was prior to being in the NHL. Or he might have been in the NHL before. He's certainly in the NHL afterwards. Uh, believe it or not. Where did I place that other card? Okay. And here we have a Jeff Delorier, Future Stars. And we have a Pecorini, Future Stars which is very nice. Uh, and I think both, did they both play with the Falcons? I'm not sure. We are getting loads of future stars. We're certainly working on that. There's another uh, San Jose prospect. And there's a Hannu Toivonen and a Mike Murphy. Um, so the cards uh, this year are, I would say, not as good as the previous year. I believe 2006, 2007 really had the prettiest looking cards. There's a lot of focus on uh, what they called record holders and immortals. Um, it seems like this particular subset, these subsets tend to be a little bit less impressive, um, but we'll see what we get in terms of autos. So here's an Ernie, uh, Ernie Wakely, and, uh, and this one is another one of these parallel leagues, and this is San Diego, the Mariners, uh, again in the 70, 72 through 79. Uh, he might have played with Boston. Uh, it's just before my time, so I'm not sure. Here's, here's Curtis Ma uh, uh, Mackle. Oh, geez, I can't say people's names today. Um, but you know who it is, McElhaney. And, and then another greats of the game, and this would be Billy Smith, uh, who was also very combative and used to use his stick as a weapon. And there's Dustin Tokarski, who, uh, who played ably with the Canadians in their stint uh, to the semifinals the year they were dismissed by the, by the Rangers after Kreider had taken out uh, an injured Carey Price. But uh, Dustin Tokarski, I think he came up uh, with the bolts. But then we have an auto, and that's a great auto. Um, I don't know if you saw, if you got a peep of it, I'll, I'll display it later. 
Uh, you can rewind it if you haven't seen it, but I think I just got a great auto. So there's Marty Brodeur. Um, in some of these sets, uh, sometimes you can really sort of see ahead of time the hits. Uh, here, I think the cards are just so wonky and sort of busy that it's really hard to sort of separate out prior the hits. So we'll, we'll, rele we'll reveal that auto in a, in a hot minute. Um, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully people will be pleased. Future stars, and then we have a Dominic Hashek, uh, and that's that's very very cool with his uh, painted helmet. He's one of the few people who's done that. He always kept his helmet. Some players keep their helmets, but Hashek was one who made a point of painting his helmet, uh, which is uh, and, and you know the Red Wings emblem is kind of a cool emblem depending on how you. I, I'm sort of of the mindset with, with emblems, you should make them very simple so that kids can actually duplicate them and replicate them and draw them. I think if you get a little bit too crazy, it becomes too complicated for kids to draw and you want them to be able to sort of, uh, you know, paint their faces and draw draw the emblems in class and so on. There's a Roberto Luongo. And there's Josh Eunice. And we have a Thomas McCollum. Uh, continuing on, this video is taking a while, unfortunately. Apologies again, but that's just how I roll. And we have another one of the high number cards, and this is Les Binkley. And the rival league, uh, in this particular case, would again be the, the WHA, because I think that's, I, mean, I guess all these teams would have to be from there. You In the the years, in the 70s, you could actually get OPG cards in 76, 75, or whatnot, that were WHA cards. Uh, they You can collect those as well. Sometimes I think they might have been inserted in OPG, or they might have been sort of uh, uh, done up other ways, but I certainly have some from my childhood. Here's Corey Schneider as a future star. And we have a uh, Peter Delmas, and then we have a Marty Turco. Uh, I think we have six more packs left. Uh, we can take a peek at our auto in a hot minute. Um, I, I'm really happy when, when the autos are, are not just the future stars because you can very easily get an auto, which I have in the past, which are ones who didn't really spend much time in the NHL. Here's another one of the rival ones, uh, WHA card, and it is of the uh, Cincinnati Stingers uh, with sort of a bee sting logo. So that's kind of cool, if unusual. And it's Michel Dion who ultimately would wear similar colors when he would play with um, with Pittsburgh. Uh, I got a mask, so I'll, I'll hold back, I'll hold off on the mask. And then I have this other one. This is Felix Podvin, so it's another one of the greats of the game. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, if my videos are long, which they are, just be sure to fast forward to the end and I reveal everything right at the end as I go through all the cards. Uh, I just seem to like to open things slowly. So here's Tuka Rask. And uh, that's a Future Stars. And then I got this Yarrow Halak. And this is an insert of something, of some for form or fashion. And it is the future of goaltending, Yarrow Halak. So this is an insert, it must be lettered, I'm guessing. Uh, indeed, it's, it's from the Future of Goaltending subset, which is independent from the base set. So that is actually a separate, a separate insert, a, a proper insert. Uh, here is another one of the futures of the, um, uh, the rival leagues. And uh, it's of the Toronto Toros. And it is of Jill Graton, who certainly played for the Boston uh, didn't he play for Boston? I believe he did. Uh, you can correct me. Brian Elliott. Future stars. Okay, so we have four more packs left. Uh, we did get a mask card. Uh, we have not gotten a carry price, which is something we would sort of hope to, to get, seeing as it's 2007-2008. Not that uh, if it were a base card, it would sort of be worth much because it's common. It would be common by definition. Uh, there's the rival league. This is Mike Liu. To Mike Liu played for the uh, played for the St. Louis um, Blues, and he also played for the Hartford Whalers, uh, and he was one of the best uh, goaltenders of his era. 
And here's another Stars of the Game, and it's a Tim Thomas, Stanley Cup winning Tim Thomas, another one of the rival leagues. Uh, and this would be of the Winnipeg Jets uh, prior to being within the NHL, and it's Joe Daly. So in the, the interesting thing, too, about the, um, if you look at the design of these uh, WHA cards, they look a lot like the actual WHA cards that were issued with OPG uh, in the 70s. They sort of had a rounded bottom to them. They um, had a similar, a similar look. So you, they're going for a retro look with regard to that. Just a nod, a nod to the OPG WHA cards. There's Merrick Schwartz. And we have another insert, and it's Marek Schwartz again. And this one, again, would be uh, the future of, of goaltending uh, subset. And Michael Neuwirth. And uh, he's another future star, so we collect most of the future stars. We only have two packs left. Uh, it would be nice to get at least one more uh, significant insert, whether it be a mask, um, a, uh, or anything else for that matter. Although I don't feel like this particular year has uh, too many crazy um, uh, autos or inserts. It seems to be a little bit less than in other years, unfortunately, for better or for worse. And then we have Richard Brodeur, um, who his peer is with the Nordiques and uh, again within the WHA and he would later um, uh, of course play with Vancouver. Now I just got the carry price so that's good news. Here's the carry price. Uh, it's 2007-2008 so it is a rookie card but again because it's sort of a um, you know um, prior to entering the you know it's the it's a WHL card Tri-City Americans card it's sort of a, a pre-rookie, but it's also a rookie card because it actually was introduced. This is from 2007, 2008. So we did get the carry price, so that's great. And hopefully we'll get one more thing. Um, if not, I think we'll, we've done well. Regardless, we've collected a lot of the base. We've gotten a couple of the inserts. Uh, and we did get um, the Jonathan Bernier. So here's the last pack. And the last pack has Trevor Kahn. Uh, it has this cool Johnny Bauer, greats of the game. And then it has a Brayton Holby. And it has a Carrie Ramo. So those are it. So a uh, couple of things just to do before we, before we uh, end this um, is to do the reveal of this particular card, the mask card. And the mask card, it's a blue mask, and it's mask five, and it would be uh, a card of, let's read this right here, it's Marty Turco. So this is a Marty Turco Dallas Stars card. So that's a good one to get. It's a very solid get. Marty Turco. So that's nice. So it's a mask five, and these are blue this time, and there's a lot, you know, just a beautiful look. It's a gold a gold look with the stars green on a blue background that's that's sort of marbled a bit. It's This is a really nice, this would be very nice ones to collect if you collect these inserts. As I've said before, these are sort of uh, some of the most impressive and most enjoyed and appreciated inserts. Uh, so then our auto, uh, if you didn't see it already, uh, is... I got a Jerry Cheevers auto. So our auto is of Jerry Cheevers. That is amazeballs. Um, that's one of the better ones you can get. Uh, of course, he played for the Boston Bruins in their heyday in the 70s when they're competing against the Montreal Canadiens. So for me, that's that's just sort of the best card I could potentially get. You'll note that, that Dryden doesn't really very much appear in cards. And uh, in fact, his auto is very rare, and it has to do with the fact that he doesn't sign agreements, and he and he actually makes a point of ensuring that his autograph is rare. Um, and I do have an autograph of his. The autographs you typically get are handwritten ones, um, and then you have to ensure that they're authenticated or they're authentic. 
uh, but they tend to be very very valuable even if they're handwritten starting at 50 bucks maybe 100 bucks because Dryden just does not sign autographs and when he does sign autographs he makes a point of writing the person's name down and, and sort of you know writing a little something for them and again it, that personalizes it but it also makes it of less value when it gets traded uh, he's really not in the business of people selling his identity or making money off of his identity which is a very interesting tact it's a very sort of cerebral look at things which is very Dryden um, but the Jerry Cheevers, on the other hand, they're more common, but, but they're really valued and they're associated with the same era, uh, just like the Dryden. So I got a Jerry Cheevers, and so let's, so let's go through everything, uh, first and foremost. So I got, I got the stack of Future Stars cards, um, and they're, they're great, beautiful. Uh, the most important thing is that I got the Carey Price. So I got the Carey Price rookie card from 2007-2008. Uh, I got a bunch of the Between the Pipes stars of the game. Uh, again, Tim Thomas's and so on, Vokuns, Turco, Luongo, Hashek, Brodeur. Uh, I did not, uh, as far as I know, I don't think I got a, a um, Patrick Watt, but we can look really quickly. In terms of the greats of the game, I did get Billy Smith. Oh, here's the Patrick Watt. So he's in the greats of the game. I guess he had just retired by that point. Um, and I got a, a nice long sort of list of some of the greats of the games, including Rogi Vachon. Uh, the high numbered cards in at the top of the uh, the base set is all of these inserts. Well, they're not really inserts; it's a subset, uh, basically to the 100, I'm guessing. And these are the parallel leagues. So I got a stack of those. I did get these two inserts, which are Future of Goaltending. Um, it's a short subset, uh, but I got the Yarrow Halak and I got the Schwartz. Um, I also got, in terms of the mask, I got myself a Marty Turco with this beautiful gold on blue. Um, and then, so my two major hits, and as I said, this year, the 2006 seven, seven, eight year is sort of not as sort of impressive as some of the others in terms of the amount that they deliver. Nonetheless, in terms of my hits, I actually got what I deem very solid major hits. I got a clear-cut jersey, uh, which is of Jonathan Bernier, who played on the Leafs. Anybody who's associated with the Leafs um, is, is a value. And he's also played out west, as I said, with the Kings, etc. Um, and, and I got the Jerry Cheevers, which is, which is as good an auto as you could potentially get in the, this... Um, in the set. So that's it guys. Uh, long video. Sorry about that. Again, always just fast forward to the end if you want to see the recap. Uh, this was Between the Pipes on Fulton Cards, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York.